हेलो स्टूडेंट्स द क्वेश्चन इज असर्शन वन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ड्रिफ्ट इन अ कंडक्टर इट डज नॉट मीन दैट ऑल फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द कंडक्टर्स आर मूविंग इन द सेम डायरेक्शन रीजन द ड्रिफ्ट वेलोसिटी इज सुपरपोज ओवर लार्ज रैंडम वेलोसिटीज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो द प्रॉब्लम इज बेस्ड ऑन द टॉपिक करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम वी हैव टू चेक वेदर द असर्शन रीजन आर करेक्ट और नॉट नाउ in the assertion part it is said that when electrons drift in a conductor so first of all what is drifting drift means that there is a conductor or a metal and we apply a potential difference across it or we can say that electric field across it like this by some electrical source such as a battery the metals consist of ions and ions are positively charged so this is the structure of a metal these are the positive ions these are bulkier heavier they do not move through the metal they just vibrate about their mean position and uh, there are free electrons in the metals there are free electrons in bulk amount and uh, since electron is a negative charge they move towards the positive plate they move towards the positive plate so drifting took place drifting is due to the applied electric field now in the drifting process the electron move in a certain direction to reach at the positive plate but in between there are ions also they move in this particular direction they move towards the positive plate direction and if the ions were absent if the ions are not there then they move in a straight path then no problem but the ions are present here so the electrons will collide will collide with the ions which come in their path and we know that there are head on collision or a oblique angle collision so in this way if there is a head on collision they revert back if there is oblique angle collision they move their direction so in this process when the collision took place they move their direction and we cannot say that there is a certain finite a certain fixed direction so this statement is correct that it does not mean that all the free electrons in the conductors are moving the same direction so if they do not uh, if there is no ion in their path then they move straight forward and when the ion comes in their path they move, change their direction so this statement is correct the reason is given as the drift velocity superposed over large random velocity of electrons now this statement the reason statement is also correct because as i have said earlier that they change their path so it means that it is having electron is having a random direction but for the overall picture for overall structure of the metal or a conductor we take that we take that on an average they are moving in a certain direction so we superpose the random velocity and take one direction we superpose and take the average and we take this value as the like a finite direction value but in actual the electrons they change direction but for the totality we take super, uh, superposition we use the superposition and assume a single direction so the reason is also correct here so both assertion and reasons are correct and uh, reason is the correct explanation of the assertion to yahan ek problem puchi gayi hai isme assertion reasoning based problem hai yahan pe conductor ke bare mein kaha gaya hai ki conductor mein jab drift करंट होती है जब हम इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड अप्लाई करते हैं तो ड्रिफ्ट करंट प्रोड्यूस होती है तो इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि सारे ही फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन जो है कंडक्टर में एक ही दिशा में चल रहे हैं तो ये बिल्कुल करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट है उसका रीज़न ये है कि एक दिशा में चल ना चलने का रीज़न ये है कि रस्ते में आने वाले आयंस जो उनके रस्ते में पड़ेंगे उनसे वो टकराएंगे टकरा के उनमें कॉलेजन की वजह से डायरेक्शन चेंज होगी और एक सिंगल डायरेक्शन हम नहीं कह सकते लेकिन स्टेट रीज़न में इसमें बताया गया है कि हम ड्रिफ्ट वेलासिटी को जो है इन सारी रैंडम वेलोसिटीज का एक क्यूमुलेटिव सम ले सकते हैं एक और सुपरपोज करके एक निश्चित दिशा मान लेते हैं तो ये भी जो है वो करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट है कि बावजूद इसके कि एक रैंडम मोशन है फिर भी हम क्यूमुलेटिवली या कंबाइंड मैनर में कह देते हैं कि इसकी एक सर्टेन डायरेक्शन है सुपरपोजिशन के अकॉर्डिंगली तो रीजन भी करेक्ट है असर्शन भी करेक्ट है और रीजन जो है वो करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन है असर्शन का तो हम यहाँ कह सकते हैं कि ऑप्शन ए करेक्ट होगा ऑप्शन ए स्टेट्स दैट बोथ द असर्शन एंड रीजन आर करेक्ट एंड 
the reason is the correct explanation of assertion so hope you understand the explanation thank you